Lights, camera, action! Come back! That was a great shot! Stay in the frame. A bit more to the left. That's it! Beautiful! Jeepers! Can you believe we're going to the Milton Brothers movie lot? Do you think we'll see any movie stars, Velma? Velma, are you still in that book? What? Oh, <laughs> sorry. It's just that I haven't read anything as fascinating since the hidden history of Atlantis. It explains how to capture supernatural critters. Look, even Shaggy and Scooby find it gripping. Like any book that has ghosts on the run is all right by me. Uh, guys, you can let go now. Uh-uh, not on your life. Oh, brother. All right, I'm leaving. You know where to reach me if you change your mind. I'll never sell to you, Zabrinsky. Sorry, kids. Visits are off today. <sighs> and forever. Don't worry. My brother Doug's just a little, uh, <whistles> down. Our studio's haunted. Well, don't you worry, sir. We're Mystery Inc., and we'll get rid of your ghost problem in no time. Mr. Milton, I'm a big fan of your films. My favorite is Gone with the Tin Roof. Can I get your autograph? Oh, why, sure. You know, I was almost nominated for Best Director on that one. Oh, this is fantastic. Earl, did you call these kids? Right-o, Daddy-o. I heard about these cats from Jimmy over at Sunshine Studios. Rat? Where? <laughs> Studio A is where it all started. Though I fear it has spread to the entire lot by now. What about that man we saw when we arrived? Oh, that's Robert Zabrinsky from Greenwood Development. He's been trying to buy the studio from us. Okay, here's the plan. Scooby and Shaggy, you scout Studio A. Daphne and I will look for clues in Studio B. And I'll check out the rest of the lot with the Milton brothers. Like what about the cafeteria? <laughs> we don't have a cafeteria. We use caterers. I think there's some food left inside the... Scoob, there's some kind of drawing on this wall. What is it? Beats me. Looks like some kind of switch with a number over it.
like you want to go first? I'll wait for you right here, Scooter. Okay, Waggy.
on you, Scoob. I hardly recognized you. for you. Scoob, there's a staircase going down. Hey, like this is some kind of electrical room. <laughs> and that sounds like one nasty shock over there. <laughs>
done, Scoob. <laughs> Scooby? Rawr. Scooby! Maggie! Hey there. Huh? Shaggy, did you see that walking suit of armor? See it? Like it snatched up Scooby. We gotta save him. Great. I'll catch it all on film. <laughs> yeah, like if it doesn't catch us first. <laughs> Chopped liver? Hmm. Chopped, Chopped liver. liver. <laughs> Shaggy, look up there. There must be a way to use that crane to lift up Scooby's cage. Try to reach the control panel. Okay, now look scared. Like, I am scared. Brother's not gonna like this. with feeling. Aw, oh, man! What's with these catapults?
you're a natural. Like that? You're doing great. Like it's broken? Hey, it's missing the fuse and the gear. This motor is out of order, man. Excellent.
piece of cake. Uh-oh, like I'm getting that sinking feeling. Zoids, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you up. Can I get you a coffee or something? Or maybe not. Again with feeling. Okay, now look nervous. Like I am nervous. Oh man, you're a natural. Like that? Scooby Dooby Doo! There you go, Scoob. Ah, that's so touching. Now go find my key. Shaggy, look out! Scoob, I bet you he won't be showing his face around here anytime soon. 
Zoinks! Well, will you look at that? Like I think we just found ourselves a clue. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, hey, you did it. Like, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, now let's go find the others. A good idea. I'll go with you. Meanwhile, you can take care of those mummies. M -m 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 mummies? What's he talking about? Yikes!
great. You found a clue. This looks like a receipt for a bottle of expensive cologne from a big department store. These look like mummy bandages from a fake mummy. These are too new to be the real thing. This is a picture of some kind of Western-themed amusement park. This oversized helmet was probably used in the Milton's medieval epic. It smells like expensive cologne. Oh. Scooby, Shaggy, there you are. I told them all about your cool rescue skills. Don't worry, it's all in here. Real dynamite stuff. So, did you two find any clues? Way to go, guys. At least we know there's someone inside that armor. Meanwhile, Doug has disappeared. Hmm, that's interesting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you suggesting... I'm not suggesting anything. What else did you find? Well, we did find more pages from the Tome of Doom. Jinkies! Shaggy, Scooby, do you guys realize what this means? Like it means we're starving. <laughs> we're so hungry, we're down to eating props. <laughs> no, it means that there's a link to the library case. Jeepers. Don't worry, gang, I've got a plan. Okay, let's run through this one more time. You guys find the knight and trick him into running after you. Then I'll open the drawbridge and he'll follow you into the sci-fi set. Daphne, Velma, and Earl will take it from there. Any questions? Yeah, do we have to? <laughs> Why are you two scared? This time you know that it's a fake monster. And like that's supposed to make me less scared? Who goes running around in a suit of armor? Come on, guys, you'll do fine. Run, Scooby! Run! Run, Raggy! Get tired. Raggy, he's getting closer. Like the gate is still closed. Man, this castle is one big hassle. I'm pretty sure it's this one. You can run, but you cannot hide. Run, Raggedy! One more lap! You can't get one! Run, Raggedy! Like, 
Doesn't he ever get tired? Run faster, Scoob! Let's see who's under that helmet, er, box. Robert Zabrinsky. I should have known that cat was up to no good. Walter Peabody must have sent him pages from the Tome of Doom to scare away your cast and crew. Knowing that this would force you to sell. And I would have gotten away with it too if it hadn't been for you meddling kids and your pesky dog. How did you figure it out? Well, Shaggy and Scooby's clues steered us in the right direction, but the real clincher was the helmet. Its oversized shape was perfect for the image-conscious Zabrinsky, who could wear it without messing up his impeccable hair. But what about my bro? And over here! Zabrinsky ambushed me and wrapped me in these... You scoundrel! Have you any idea how much these mummy costumes cost? That was some great detective work. Even better than in The Big Nap or Death on the Rhine. Say, have any of you ever thought of being in pictures? You know, you'd make a great damsel in distress. Well, now that you mention it... What about me? Uh, well, we always need riders. And what about us? Like, can we do the catering? <laughs> Actually, I had something better in mind. And action! <laughs> like, isn't this the best of happy endings, Scoob, old pal? Scooby-dooby-doo! 